I think the biggest goal is really to replace platinum, which is just an extremely expensive metal. So like a lot of uh, alternative energy technologies, you have to lower the cost of these electrodes. And when you're using a very precious metal like platinum, iridium, rhodium, something like that, uh, basically you can never even get started because they'll always be more expensive than a lot of fossil fuel type systems. What we're working on right now is we're working on something that ends up being platinum-like once you combine the metals in a certain way. So what we're working on is a, a copper-titanium alloy. In this case, a copper-titanium alloy that's been formed into this uh, nanoporous structure, which has a very, very high porosity. But the copper-titanium, when you have certain mic combinations of the titanium and copper on the surface, it forms uh, binding energy that's very similar to platinum. In our lab, we did a lot of the electrochemistry, experimental design, and a lot of the uh, preparation, theoretical preparation, to get to the point where we could make these materials. But we're also working with the physics department here, and we're working to uh, produce the material. And then we were also working with Columbia, um, some of our collaborators there, that we did some other experimental work. Uh, in addition to uh, some people at the Lawrence Ber Berkeley National Lab in California that did some uh, microscopy for us, so we can understand exactly what kind of distribution we had close to the surface. At the same time, uh, Chi Lu was working on developing the means to produce the material in real life. And so once we produced the material, we began to do the experiments to determine its activity. Uh, we began to optimize the material, determine which ratios are actually best for producing hydrogen. And uh, then we also began to do other characterization to figure out exactly what we had made and exactly what was causing the really high activity.